Now there's the ad, the original ad for the, uh, they call it Atom Sub, as it appeared on the Rice Krispies box. And that's the toy that we're going to be looking at. Okay, something a little different. We're going to take a look at two uh, small toys that I grew up with. Now I grew up in the uh, 50s and 60s. And this first one here is the uh, Nautilus submarine. Now in 1959, the nuclear-powered submarine Nautilus made its historic voyage underneath the uh, North Pole. And to commemorate that event, Rice Krispies produced this little baking powder submarine. And I'm going to show you how it works. And uh, let's see how it goes. Now to make this thing work, you had to move the little wee cap there and take some baking powder and put it in the little wee uh, notch there in the bottom. And I do emphasize baking powder, not baking soda. And what you did was then uh, you wet the um, baking powder, which I'll do just off camera for a moment. Okay, now that the baking powder is wet, we re-put the cap on and then We'll take a picture and see how it works. All right, so you put it in the water, shake it a bit, and let her go. And as you see, she'll sink to the bottom. And the baking powder is wet, and it'll cause a little wee air bubble. Now, when you first put the submarine in the water, it's going to be quite active. You can see the uh, spitting out a lot of bubbles there, so it won't eventually rise to the top. But you can see the theory under which it works. It makes a bubble, which then makes the submarine rise. Now eventually it'll come to the top once it's expended a bit of that uh, baking powder fuel. So I'll cut the video here and we'll pick it up after she's expended some fuel. Okay, the submarine's been lying at the bottom there for a little wee while. And just waiting for it to create another bubble and see if she rises. So, oh, no, nope, no, nope, didn't work that time. Okay, well, she almost made it that time. You can see her plunging to the bottom there. We'll wait a bit and see if uh, another bubble forms and see if she can come up to the surface. Now, uh, scale-wise, she's in pretty deep water there. So let's see what happens. Here she comes. Oh, she's moving a bit. Do some time lapse here. Nope, still didn't. Hmm. There she comes. Oh, she made it about three quarters of the way there. Well, while she's fooling around trying to come to the surface, let's try the uh, PT boat. Now the PT boat, I think, came out a few years later in 1963, and that came out about the time the movie PT 109. Uh, came out, starring Cliff Robertson. And of course, PT-109 was all about John F. Kennedy in World War II when he was in uh, the captain of uh, the PT-109. So this one works on a similar principle. I'll take it apart here. Now this one, you remove the two little hull halves. Same idea. You put baking powder in there. I think you were supposed to fill it up with baking powder. And uh, I'll wet it off camera. Okay. Then you snap your cover back on. It's a bit messy, this one. Okay, off camera here. And uh, let's put her in the water and see what she does. Okay, well the PT-109 is a bit more active than the submarine. You can see the principle. Again, it's just sort of um, propelling those little bubbles at the back and away she goes. And uh, the submarine is still at the bottom there taking her time about coming up. But anyway, those are just two toys that I grew up with in the um, late 50s, early 60s. I guess we better talk 60s here. I think the submarine came out in 1960 and the PT-109 in uh, 1963. So just a little um, glimpse of the past. I know these toys must look pretty, pretty silly to these modern kids their video games and stuff, but uh, times are different then. So that's a look at two little wee uh, toys from the past.